Hello and welcome to my build class 5. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make columns. The two columns I'm going to be showing you is column 3 and column 2. Column 2 is the one directly in front of us and column 3 is just off to the right. So what you will need for column 3 is stone slabs, stone brick slabs, smooth sandstone, and cobblestone. So if we grab all this out now, what you're going to want to do is make a two by two hole in the middle. So if we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, just like so. Now we've made our two by two hole. Next, what you're going to want to do is go one, two, three, four, all the way around it like that. So I'll be back once I've done that. Right, and we're back, and you should have something that looks like this. If you get stuck, feel free to hit that pause button and catch up. If you've caught up, well, then what you're going to want to do is break these four outer blocks in all four corners. Place it on the top bit. One like that. One like that. One like that. And, of course, one like that. Next, what you're going to want to do is get your stone brick. Place one there, one there. So always leaving the outer one empty. Now, what you're going to want to do is grab your cobblestone. You can place it here or place it up there. Wherever you want to start your column. Now, if we go up a couple of blocks. Boom, 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 boom. Making a column is pretty straightforward, just a straight column. And now you want to replicate what we've just done below. So, first, what you're going to want to do is do it in reverse order. So, you're going to want to get your stone brick slabs, place four like that. Next, you're going to want to place your sand all the way around. I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, and we're back. And now you should have something that looks like that. And now for the final touch, to make this column complete, what you're going to want to do is grab your stone slabs and place one there and then place one there. Then you just want to go around the whole entire thing, the outer rim. And last one there and now if we drop down that is the column exactly the same okay so now if we quickly get rid of these items what you're going to need for column 2 which I think most of you are going to want to make what you're going to want to do is you want to go get yourself stone brick oak wood planks, spurch wood, spurch wood stairs, stone stairs, quartz slab, stone brick slab, stone slab and last but not least stone brick stairs. So if we grab all of this out first and we head over to an empty area that's what you're going to want to do first quickly make it daytime again what you're going to want to do first is place your spurch wood one there one there one there and one there next place here so we're just making the frame of the column first as you can see there you can fill in the middle if you want but that doesn't really matter Next, what you're going to want to do is go up one more, and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, and we're back. So you should have something that looks like this. You might want to hit the pause button, but feel free, like I just said earlier. Next, what you are going to do is get your planks and place a 3x3 three three like that, but leaving this outer one empty. Go all the way around. 
just like so. Oops, until you have something that looks like that. As you can see, it's looking the same. Next, what you're going to want to do is grab your stone stairs, place one there, one there, and one there, and finally, one here. Next, you're probably going to want to get a stone slab. Stone slab, place all your stone slabs around, leaving this spot empty on each side. As you can see so and now do the outer pieces of the stairs and I'll be back once I've done that okay you should have something that looks like this similar now you want to get your stone brick slabs place one in each corner and you should have something that looks like this now next you want to grab your quartz slab place that there that, and place one here and last but not least there so that is pretty much what the bottom will look like now if we work our way to the top what you're going to want to do is grab your stone brick again place that there just like so and then go up however many blocks this is totally optional and these spurch wood are optional you don't have to use it as well but you go up as many blocks as you like so if I just quickly go up a couple of blocks and then we'll be back okay and we're back and as you can see they are just gone up a couple of blocks right now what you're going to want to do is create the stairs what you're going to want to do is grab your stone stairs place four upside down not like that upside down just like that all around the edge and now you want to go up one and then pl place it upside down again and then oops upside down again and then you just repeat this pattern all the way around you finished it just like that and then what you're going to want to do is get your spurch wood place upside down stairs one there and just do the same and then place one over like that one there and one there and leave these and leave these outer ones so if we, I go around and do all that and then I will be back okay you should have something that looks like that with the empty corners missing last what you're gonna want to do is grab your stone brick stairs again place one there one there all the way around the edge one there and one there one there one there okay these stairs are placed slightly wrong but one there so if we just quickly recorrect recorrect correct them stairs one there and now we grab our stone stairs again one there like that so you should have and there you go that is the finished product so i hope you have learned something and enjoyed this video until next time thank you